Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, and today, it's pretty shocking, because I'm actually keeping a consistent upload schedule? Since when? But anyway, today, we have the arena tour. Yes, I'm going to tour you through this entire arena, and yeah, I'll just tell you how I got everything, where everything came from. I'll go through my new backstage area, and if this video manages to hit 15 likes, I'll do a full collection tour, all three shelves of my collection. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. If you follow me on Instagram, AFWE underscore figs, you saw it a few times, but today we're focusing on the arena, and maybe we'll go to the collection if this video hits 15 likes. But let's get straight into the arena. All right, so I guess we'll start us off right here. This is my makeshift camera setup. I place my camera right onto this thing, just like this. And well, let's stay. I mean, ugh. there's like two Funko Pop boxes here to give it a little bit of height. Cause like, if you are viewing from like right here, you can see the ring, you can see over there. I can also like turn this around. It's kind of like a tripod, but much cheaper because this came with my mom's phone and she voluntarily gave it to me because she said she's not going to use it. So, yeah. And then I got these two Funko Pop boxes. It's pretty makeshift, but it served me well. And I don't think I want to actually get a tripod. Because the last time I got one, it broke. So, anyway. Getting into the crowd. We have a lot of basic figures here. I mean, we have Star Wars figures. Um, is What's this guy's name? Doctor Doom, I think. I swear, if Marvel fans come at me in the comments. But we got Doctor Doom, um, Echirus, Druig. I'm not a Marvel guy. I just bought these at Disney because they looked cool. But we also got Young Buck, Kevin Owens, Elite, um, Red Hood right here. Yeah, we have a lot of people in the crowd. We even got CM Punk right there. But that's the crowd. I mean, new basic Elias right here and absolutely failed Dwayne The Rock Johnson custom of someone. But that's the crowd, and let's get over, no, let's start, with, let's go to the stage. So this is a printed out photo of the AFWE logo. Um, it's a very makeshift stage. I mean, it's an Under Armour shoe box with like a hole taped in it, so it, so it has kind of an illusion of someone walking through it. I mean, it triggers me when people just appear out of nowhere, so it kind of has the illusion of someone walking through here, making their way down to the ring. But shoebox, printed out photo, what else could you ask for? It's simple and effective. And then we have a steel cage piece right here, coming with the, um, the wreck and steel cage that I got. I have actually two of these steel cages to make war games, but steel cage, whatever. And, um, we have this barricade right here. I got these two barricades off Amazon when I first started doing stop motions around, like, July of last year. I didn't actually start uploading them on YouTube until, like, October. October 9th is the exact date. But I got these along with, like, a few ladders, a few tables. I think, like, two chairs and a trash can off of Amazon at, like... I don't even know if the, like, these are elite scale, but, like, they weren't fit for elites. They were fit for, like, some luchador figures. But I got them off Amazon, and then these are the ringside exclusive steel stairs. If we move these Funko Pop boxes out of the way, um, you can see our referee, Mark Stud, right there. It's a basic Dean Ambrose with a referee shirt onto it. Um, I have running out of ideas with that. Um, but we have this ringside exclusive, ringside collectibles pamphlet. Got two of these. I do plan to, like, put some right here. But after All Out, with my new Elite Scale ring that I got for Christmas, this is going all bye-bye. I think we're going to the other side of the room. And I'm actually going to use this as a desk. But into the commentator's table. This is me. Drake Maverick with the Maverick 24-7 Sharpied Out. Eddie Guerrero Legend shirt. Um, TV monitor that came from ringside. Microphones from ringside. Pancakes that came from the Elite 78 Kofi Kingston. 
This little tablecloth is from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I just got it. And then this is a ringside exclusive table below there. This is some dried up Play-Doh. Yes, I know. Dried up Play-Doh. I need to clean. <laughs> but another piece of the steel cage right there. This is a basic ring. It came with one of the steel cages. It's all I had to work with. And yeah. <laughs> but these are the um, elastic bands that come with figures that I use. Like, um, for example, the Elite 88 Rey Mysterio. It came with one of these. Obviously, if you saw my Instagram story, you see that that, that figure broke. But whatever. Um, you got these bands that I use to like... Um, for example, come here, take, come here, Taker. Let's say Taker is jumping up into the air. I can pose him. This is terrible posing because I'm doing it with one hand and I'm actually holding the camera right now. But I'd take one of these, wrap it around the head, and then, boom. Then I'd take the photo. It looks kind of, like, convincing that he's floating up into the air. But not really because... I'm actually holding him, but that's those elastic bands that I used that came with the figures, and I think that's about it for the arena. I mean, here's my light up here. Got Pokemon cards. Um, you got Star Wars figure. You got Hulk Hogan. Actually, why not? Um, a friend of mine gave me these. These are like old Hulk Hogan figures. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. These are some pretty old Hulk Hogan figures. They still got some articulation for some reason. Oh my god, that that is gruesome to look at. But that's the arena, and I think that's about it. So let's get into the backstage area. So if we make our way onto the floor right here, we have the brand new implemented backstage area. Um, we have the Wreck and Slam cycle. Wreck and Slambulance, and that just fell. Um, Wreck and Slambulance, Wreck and Slam Cycle, Chair, Briefcase, Tech Deck. I am absolutely terrible with these. Let me just... I don't even know how to ollie. Come on. another ringside table these things are so sturdy i can't even with them but i got these out of like i think they're called like wacky packages i got them at target once never gonna use them so why not just put them in the backstage area for extra detail and we have this trash can oh i did not realize i was full of thumbtacks does that thumbtack have blood on it? Hey, 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 let's get away from that. Um, this came in the background of one of, like, a Star Wars figure, I think, that I got. And then this is Otis's, Otis Elite 87's Money in the Bank briefcase. Just sitting on the top of this ambulance because I have nowhere else to put it. But this is the backstage area that I just built, like, three days ago, I think. Yeah. But... That's the backstage area, and let's close this video out in the arena. Thank you guys so much for watching this arena tour. And I wanted to show off the arena, give an in-depth tour on a YouTube video. Because, well, after AFWE episode 26, that's the last time you're going to see this arena ever, really. Because after All Out, I'm implementing the authentic scale ring. And, well... I don't think this can fit an authentic scale ring. I don't I don't think so. But yes. This is gonna be the last time you're seeing this arena, AFWE episode 26. I'm gonna try to make this I'm gonna try to make it the best episode possible. 
farewell to the Serena that has served me for multiple months. And fitting that I'd give the tour right now, right? Right at the end. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me on my other social medias if you want more of me. AFWE underscore figs on TikTok and Instagram. And if you like the video and you want to see more, maybe see the product that comes out of this arena, subscribe. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time if you don't enjoy the videos anymore. Doesn't really hurt my feelings that much. But if you like the video, why not drop a like? It helps me, helps the channel. And yeah, 15 likes. Hey, 15 likes and I'll drop the collection tour. 15 likes and I'll drop the collection tour. Share this to your friends. Tell them to like the video because... That video is going to take a while and might spoil some stuff. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you later.